great day. Called by many names, pot stickers, bakwan, nochi, wontons, and more, dumplings can be found around the world, fried or steamed. Today is National Dumpling Day. Did you know? And filling us in on what a dumpling actually is is Andy Wynn with Ocean Palace Restaurant. Hello there. Hi, how are you doing today? Good. I, Andy, you are like so many folks here in Houston where your parents immigrated to this country, your first yes. generation, so you still have the authentic taste of what, what great Asian food is. Of course. Yeah, my mom won't let me lose that. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> you, you grew up eating it. Okay, so uh, uh, um, we're talking about you know, today's National Dumpling Day, yes. and a dumpling basically is what? A uh, dumpling is basically um, flour mixed in with water. Uh, you can make dumplings in so many different ways. There's mm -hmm. not really uh, a specific way to make them. A uh, very common way is to fill it with pork, shrimp. You can fill it with chicken. You can actually see some people filling it with scrambled eggs sometimes. Oh. So there's so many different ways. So there's not really, I would say, a right way to to make it. Yeah, but and at Ocean Palace, you do it so many different ways. Of you course. are the biggest dim sum restaurant in the city. Yes. We were talking to someone the other day who said, what's dim sum? So explain to them what dim sum is. Dim sum is basically your Chinese tapas. And with, with that being said, it's just coming together and experiencing food with a family. Mm -hmm. And that's how I registered to it. And it's just small plates you, you can share with everyone. And there's really no limits to it. Yeah, I think we call that a sampler. Yes. <laughs> yeah. When you can't decide what to get because everything looks really good, Good. Just go. Let's just do a dim sum here. Okay. So um, you have different ways to do these dumplings, and you have one right here. Yes. This is. This yeah. right here is our um, hakao or the shrimp dumplings, and this is just made with just shrimp in general. Um, it is rice uh, flour, and that's what makes it uh, translucent. Yeah. Translucent. And it's steamed, right? Yes, this okay. is steamed right here. All right. And this one right here? This one right here is the samai or just the pork and shrimp dumplings, and what makes it yellow is actually mixing the flour with eggs, and on top we, spr we sprinkle masago on it, which is fish eggs. Ah, uh, okay. And then right over here. This one is um, the semi as well, except on the top we actually put black truffle imported from Italy. Uh -huh. Okay, and then yeah. we have those are all the steamed ones. You can see this little kind of this bamboo basket yes. right here, and then this right here are the. This is the pan fried uh, pork and uh, I'm sorry, pork and chives. Mm -hmm. And basically, um, what we do is pan sear it. Um, everything is just the same in terms of the flour and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you can eat it in so many different ways, just like you did with the vinegar. Mm -hmm. Mix it in with soy sauce, maybe a little bit of sriracha mm -hmm. on the side. And this tastes good yeah. all by itself, too. Oh, this yeah. This is really good. All right. All right. And then here, and moving on, uh, that we've is actually. Pan fried to that's actually the deep fried. Um, deep fried dumplings and mm -hmm. what is in that is the pork and the shrimp and as well as some chives as well and what we do and you can actually dip it in this mm. aioli sauce that we have yeah, yum is right over there. And it adds oh. just a little bit of flavor to that. Mm. Oh, that is so good. All mm. right, perfect. Okay, and then we got some magic working right in here. Yes, and what's in here is let me take this out. This is going to be a little bit hot. This is the soup dumplings right here. Mm. Let me take this out I've of the way. I've never heard of an actual soup dumpling. Now, what makes it a soup dumpling is... And what makes it a soup dumpling is essentially um, people think that it's actual soup in it, mm -hmm. but when you, we're making it, we uh, the filling inside has a lot of moisture, and when you steam it, a lot of the water seeps out and gets trapped within, within inside the dough. And let me show you right here. So okay. just grab one right there, and let me show you how to eat it. Be careful, it's really hot. hot. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna take it out right here. Just be careful not to pop it, be very gentle. Oh, well, I already ruined that. <laughs> no, it's all right. Sometimes okay. that happens. And then you just put it onto your spoon. Okay. And what I like to do is just poke a hole through it just to let a little bit of the steam out, a little bit of the soup out. Uh -huh. And what you do is take a bite at the top and suck as if you were eating soup as well. Oh. So maybe just blow on it just a little bit just all in right. case it's a little bit hot. Okay, I'm going to do that in a commercial break because this looks like it's really hot. And by the way, for more information on Ocean Palace Restaurant or National Dumpling Day, you can log on to greatdayhouston.com and we'll connect you.